Praise the Lord, everyone. This Amen. is Apostle Chance, Prophet Lemon, and Prophet Melissa. Tonight, we're coming from Soar Nigger Ministries here at Echo Ridge. We're glad to have you on tonight. Believing that God is going to speak to you. We're Thank always you, on Mountain Time. So always. So share with your friends to come on and be with us. Oh, there's nobody on yet. That the Lord will speak to you. There's Brother David. Amen. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, it's good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. It's good to be able to speak with you. And we're coming in the voice of truth that's speaking to the hearts of men and women tonight that's serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and the body so of Christ. so be blessed tonight as you uh, mm -hmm. come on and hear uh, the word of God that you have made an effort to come on. And the Bible says, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit right. is saying to the church. What the Spirit is And saying. so uh, we want the Spirit uh, to be speaking in this uh, service tonight, as always, uh, speaking to God's people. And as we listen, God is going to be speaking to us and giving us direction empowering us from the word of God by his spirit. Yes, And yes. so share with others tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, tell them to get on here. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's Beverly There's from North from Carolina. Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so we believe that God is going to speak tonight. Yes, he is. As he speak always tonight. speaks. Yes, you know? he does. And we've had a, a real busy day, but you we know, have. we still mm -hmm. take out time for the Lord's work. Yes. And, uh, to uh, minister to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hope tonight that you receive revelation, that you receive a miracle from God. Yes. Uh, that you receive direction, mm -hmm. that you receive an impartation from the Lord. Amen. As you are uh, listening to his word, listening to his service. Amen. And we're entitling this message tonight, What Do You Want? From the Lord. That's a what a good, do you want? That's a good word. Realizing right? that he would take the supernatural power yes. of God. What do you want? Amen. What do you want? So we're going to wow. talk about uh, those issues tonight about what do you want? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is not just something that is an imagination. This is something that's really right. in your heart. Right. I mean, you're really striving. You're really pressing mm -hmm. in. And you realize that only Jesus can do it. That's right. Only that's right. Jesus do can want? do it. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mm -hmm. And that's the title that you are going to receive tonight. Amen. And we're going to have to, uh, if we're going to receive what we want, then we're going to have to continue to follow after the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's a continue good Continue to follow yes. after the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, keep moving with him. Moving forward. Moving right? forward. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so tonight, prophets, I'll be just opening up tonight with, with a word of prayer. Thank Father, you, Father, Lord, we just come before you tonight, God. And well, Lord, we first of all, we just thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy, God. We thank you for your grace tonight, Lord. Father, we thank you for each one, Lord, tonight yes. that's going to be on the program, God. Lord, we just ask uh, that you would move by your spirit, Lord. And as they ask you or tell you, Father, what they want, Lord. Father, we're believing, we're coming in agreement with them that no matter what it is, God, that you are going to grant that uh, request to them, Father God. And Lord, we just pray that your will would be done tonight on this program, God, Lord, that you would just draw people by your spirit. Yes. Lord, as we share this with those that are coming on, Father God, Thank Lord, we you, just Lord. decree that you are moving tonight by your spirit and that you have a word for us, Father God. Right. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good to see Prophets Renee on tonight. Yes, yes. And what do you want? Talking supernaturally. What do you want? Uh, from the well, Lord. Supernaturally mm -hmm. from the Lord tonight. Yes. And just put that in your reservoir of thinking tonight. Mm -hmm. What do I want from the Lord? Mm -hmm. And I truly know it would take the supernatural power yes. of God yes. uh, to bring that about mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. And so it may be big, it may be small, it doesn't make any difference, mm -hmm. you know, the same God. It created all the world that's tonight. Right, and so right. uh, uh, I just want to share a few scriptures tonight as we get ready to sort of land uh, the groundwork since uh, we, you, are, are going to be the one to ask the Lord or, or tell the Lord, ask the Lord mm -hmm. what you want tonight. Mm -hmm. you know, we what don't do tell him want? anything, but he says, ask him. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Amen. And let him know. 
make him aware, even though he knows all things. Mm -hmm. Not amazing, he knows all things, right. but we have the responsibility to make him aware of what's in our heart. He's saying, what do you want? What do you want? That's what he's saying and to us And it's going to take Amen. the supernatural power of God. Yes. And so, uh, what do you want? Wow, that's powerful. Just going to, out of John 10 and 27, I add in the New Testament, <laughs> just giving, laying some groundwork, uh, since you are the people of God. We are the yes, people of God yes, tonight. Yes, thank you, Lord. He said, my sheep listen to my voice. Amen. Since you're God's sheep, mm -hmm. you are certainly will be listening to his voice. Yes. I know them and they follow me. Now God says, mm -hmm. if you're his sheep, he knows us mm -hmm. and he knows that we what? Follow, follow him. him. Yes, that's good. Verse 28 says, thank you, Lord. I give them eternal life. Of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's what we've all strived for is for eternal life when we accept that Jesus Christ. And they shall never perish. What a promise. Mm -hmm. No one can snatch them out of my hand. So God says, I have blessings. I, I have strength for you. Yes. I impart power yes. to you. Thank you, Lord. I, I give protection to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and on and on he goes. Now, it also says in 1 John 22 and 20, again, not only are we God's sheep, but he doesn't just say he, we're his sheep, but he says also this. And, but you have an anointing from the Holy One. Yes, yes. God imparted his, when we got saved, mm -hmm. he put his anointing in us. Yes. And yes. all of you know that, and he said, all of you will know the truth. Mm -hmm. And so God has placed mm -hmm. an anointing in our lives when we got saved to lead us and guide us. Amen. Yes. Do you believe that tonight? Mm -hmm. Now in the book of Revelation, to each church, he was speaking to them as overcomers. Yes. There was not one church that he spoke to that he didn't look at them as being overcomers. That's right. There might be some things that they needed to address mm -hmm. and change, but mm -hmm. he looked at them as being overcomers. Wow. And God is seeing you tonight as his overcomers. That's right. Amen. That's right. And he says, I want you to be my overcomers. I want you to believe in me. I want you to believe in my power. I want you to live by faith, and I want you to come and follow me. Yes. You know, how yes. can you not overcome, be an overcomer if you follow Jesus mm -hmm. Christ? Mm -hmm. now, I want you to answer yourself that question now because some people are not too, maybe too keen on following Jesus tonight. But if you follow him, why wouldn't you be an overcomer? Right. Thank right. you, That's Lord. That's so true, Apostle. And, then, and so it goes on to tell us in Revelation 2 and 7, I love this, to all seven churches, he made no distinction. Mm -hmm. Each one he said the same thing to. Now, mm -hmm. see, God is no respecter of person. Yes. He said, he who has an ear. How many has got yes. a spiritual ear tonight? Amen. Have Amen. you got Amen. a spiritual Amen. ear to hear from yeah. God? Yes. Amen. Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Yes. To him who overcomes. And again, mm -hmm. God says the people that have an ear to hear are people that's always going to be an overcomer. Yes, that's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. All right, That's thank so you, true. Lord. If we have an ear to hear what the Spirit says, that's what He's saying. You know, it also says in Hebrews one one through two, in the past God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. That's how He used to do it. Yes, that's how He uh -huh. used to do it. But in these days, these days He has spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed heir of all oh, things. Oh, hallelujah. And through him, he made the universe. Yes. So, you know, uh, and yes, we do know that God also speaks through other people, through prophets yes. and through yes. the fivefold ministry. We know that. But we also know that the ultimate one that we want to hear his voice is the, Jesus is the Lord Jesus Christ. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. Is the Lord Jesus Christ. And we can Amen. have that confirmed by others. Yes. Amen. Yes, that's true, Apostle. Thank you, Lord. So through every situation, you know, he's there. You know, and I just want to say to you tonight, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you need God to do, all he wants you to do is to tell him. He's asking us tonight, what do you want? Right. What do you want? We want to get that into your spirit tonight. And, and you know, think about that. And if there's something that his... Uh, that's been pressing in your life and you need God to move by his spirit and you know that he's the only one that can do it. The Don't be one. afraid to tell him what you want and then believe him to bring it to pass. Yes, amen. 
Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Amen. So good things happen when we keep moving forward and believing. That's Tell right. him what we want yes. and believe and move forward. Mm -hmm. right. Now, all of us in our lives have gone through some dangerous times unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. Is that not right? Mm -hmm. That's right. We never knew it was coming. Just overnight it seemed like it arrived or yes. in the midst of the night. We've got bad news and things like this. Or things are not working out and we didn't expect it. Uh, things to happen. Mm -hmm. But you know, the Bible says that the disciples in their fourth watch, as Jesus had sent them to the other side, they were facing a storm, they were facing waves, they were facing winds, they were terrified of the situation mm -hmm. because they were out in the ocean, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in the middle of the night, in the fourth watch at yes. nighttime. Uh -huh. And I just, I can just close my mind and imagine how terrifying that must have been. Mm -hmm. Even that's though true. they were experienced fishermen. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you think about somebody that's not an experienced fisherman and this takes place, mm -hmm. the effect that it would have on them. Right. But, you know, nonetheless, Jesus showed up. Mm -hmm. Jesus showed up. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly where you're at and he can show up. Yes, Did you yes, get that? He, he can and he mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. And so we see here, as I'm coming out uh, again, what do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you want? And I am majoring on, it will take a supernatural act of God, but that's who God is. He is supernatural. Yes, he Amen. is supernatural. And God. why come you cannot ask God for supernatural mm -hmm. things to happen mm -hmm. to you? That's true. And so we, we look at Matthew 14, verses 27 and 28. But Jesus immediately said to them, and isn't it something else that Jesus, we're listening Jesus is always quick to speak to us, to comfort us, yes. to strengthen us. Yes. Come on now, isn't that right? When you begin to hear the voice of Jesus, don't it begin to give you courage? Yes, it does. Calms you down, Amen. gives you hope. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so Jesus immediately spoke to us, said to them, take courage. Mm -hmm. Why is he saying take courage? Because they're in a, they're in a bad situation. Bad they situation. thought they were going to die. Mm hmm you ever been in a place where you thought you were going to die and you really needed some courage? Yes, thank you, Lord. And he said something else. And listen, don't you try to calm people down when they're all, when they're all afraid? Yes. And, and all, uh -huh. and you know, just, 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 just out of control. Mm -hmm. Don't you try to calm them down? Well, Jesus is trying to calm these disciples down because they were out of control. Because they didn't know what to do. Right, right, right. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. They would jump overboard. They would stay on the ship. I don't know what to do, but here's Jesus. Yes, here's Jesus. Here's right. Jesus. Mm -hmm. It is, take courage, take courage. Mm -hmm. Thank God. I don't know about you, but I've heard that word a few times in my life. Right. Take courage. Here comes Jesus. Here I comes Jesus. Mm -hmm. Take courage. It is I. He identifies who mm -hmm. is coming to see you, mm -hmm. who is coming to meet you, yes. who is coming to help you. Yes. It is yes. I. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. He's calming you down. Mm -hmm. Come on. Take a deep breath. It's going to be all right. Come on, somebody. Right. Look around. You're not going to die. Let's say, sometimes <laughs> we just need these, these, th these things to happen in our lives. That's right. it, may, it may sound like that is so simple, mm -hmm. but you'd be surprised sometimes how crazy things can get. Yes, that's right. All right. That's right. And, of course, Peter was saying, I don't know why he's doubting him, but you know this is Peter anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some of us, I, I think probably all of God's people at one time or another in the lives may have doubted Jesus. Yes. Come on. Yes. That's, he put it in the word for us. Mm -hmm. He may have doubted Jesus. Because, why am I? Because he said, if it's you, mm -hmm. I know of only one that can tell me to come walking on the water. Wow. And it's you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so, this is what he asked him. Yes. What do you want? I want you to tell me. Come on now. I want you, as scared as I've been, as scared as I have ever been in my life, oh. I want you to tell me yes. to come and walk on this crazy water, mm. all these waves, all this wind that's going on, the sound of the wind, the waves are clashing. And Jesus gave him one simple word. He didn't try to talk him out of the boat. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's right. He didn't try to talk him out of the boat. Yes. Did you get that? Yes, I got that. Amen. He don't 
have to talk you out of something. Mm -mm. He just says a word, says his word. His yes. word is powerful. Mm -hmm. It is anointed. Mm -hmm. It's supernatural. It causes to happen what is supposed to happen. And he said that to Peter, come. Yeah. On that word, C-O-M-E, come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thank you. Lord. Out of that boat he came, started walking towards mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Wow, this works. Wow, this works. And as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, it was all right. Yes. But the moment he looked at the waves and the moment that he heard the winds, mm -hmm. he began to sink. Mm -hmm. And he died. He did what any natural human being would do. No matter who you are, mm -hmm. he cried out to the Lord, save me. Yes, 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 yes. You know what? I would have leave that. I would have cried the same thing. Amen. If I know He is the only one right now mm -hmm. that can save me, mm -hmm. even in my unbelief. Yes. I'm gonna call on Him. That's right. That's right. Somebody just heard a word from God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, in my own un unbelief, I've had to call on God. Yes. All of us have to do that at one yes, time, amen. another in our lives. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. And I love what He did, just like the Lord. Just like our Lord, he reached out and called him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, you're not dying on my watch. Yeah. Come on. You're not dying on my watch. You're not dying after I said all these things to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he did give him an education. He did take him to the school of the kingdom of God. Yes. He said simply, and he may have asked us these same words at some time important in our lives, and maybe he will again. Mm -hmm. Why did you doubt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why'd you start fearing? Why can't, why? He, he said, why come you quit believe, disbelieve in my word? Mm -hmm. Why'd you stop believe, disbelieve in my word? You were doing so good. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I'm saying to somebody right now, God is saying to you, why are you stopped believing my word that mm -hmm. I've spoken? Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Thank was you, only Lord. doing what he asked him, and that was a supernatural act of God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? You know, Apostle, you know, they, you know, there was one time that he talked to them about their faith, and they asked God to, the, uh, the apostles asked the Lord, or the disciples, I think that was before they were yes. uh, uh, called apostles, but uh, they prayed and asked the Lord to increase their faith. Uh -huh. And so we, we need to do that when we doubt. You know, and we need to stay focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's not just enough to tell him what we want, but we need to continue to stay focused Focus. on him mm -hmm. and believe him. Continue yeah. to speak whatever it is he says to us. It's important for us to uh, stay focused on what God has said. Amen. That's Peter right. heard the Lord's words correctly, correctly, but lack of faith brought doubt. That's right. Lack of faith brought doubt. Prophets, there's somebody tonight, the enemy is trying to tell you, you didn't hear God right. Right. Uh -huh. You didn't hear God right. What is, he is trying to take your miracle away mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good word right there. Yeah. A very good word. That's right. You know, and again, what do you want? What do you want? The apostle got up this morning. I think you got up this morning hearing that, didn't you, apostle? The Lord began to speak that word to your spirit as we were praying about what he wanted us to speak about tonight. What do you want? So see, the Lord wants to meet our needs. He, whatever it is that we have need of, or Come what on. we want, he wants Come us on. to tell him. You know, maybe you're uh, sick in your body tonight, and you need God to heal you. Maybe the doctors have said no hope. There's not anything that they can do for you. But you need to tell God what you want. Maybe you are in between jobs. Maybe you are changing your career and Come you on. need God to move He's for well you. He's well able. Yes. Maybe it's a home you need. And, and when you look at the real estate today and you think it's impossible, I'll probably never have a home. But you know what? You don't want to agree with the no. enemy. You want to speak in faith and thank God already for that house that he has for you. Yes. You know, and maybe you're praying and asking God for a mate. Maybe you you need a husband or you need a wife. Maybe you're believing God for children. Whatever it is, tell God what you want the and believe him. Power yes. Of God. It's going to take God. It's going to take God. And we can't let fear stop us. You know, the word tells us over 365 times uh, to fear not. 
And that's a, that's a fear not for uh, one day a, a, a year, mm -hmm. every year, every day yeah. of the year, yes. Yeah. 365 times, fear not. So, you know, like Melissa said the other day in, in on our program, I think the Lord wanted us to get that across to us that mm -hmm. he don't want us to be uh, to be afraid. Yes. You know, and we need to move Amen. forward. Move forward, Apostle. And, you know, you gave a word, I believe it was Wednesday night. Was it Wednesday night you gave that Wednesday word night. about uh, the ship being uh, uprighted? Uprighted. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, that was a prophetic word that God spoke that. And, and he tell us the, and there was about more what than, the Lord said. There was he, more than one person that God was talking to, and uh -huh. I know that. But God said the ship is going to be upright. And it was, mm -hmm. things have been upside down. God said, I'm, 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 bringing, I'm, I'm uprighting the ship mm -hmm. the, the way things should be for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cause them to come to pass. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what it's saying. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. going to bring them to come to pass. I, I know your heart. I know what you, I know. What you've asked me, and fear is trying to overcome you, but I'm going to upright the ship. You know, when the ship yes. is is not right, it doesn't travel very right, well. Right, right, uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. And so that's what God was saying. And I think you were even talking to Pastor Britt about that after I, I felt, after the message, and you felt like it was her, and uh, that God was, you know, not just her, but it was her, and it can be for many different different people and I believe that it was right well, she was one of them. but she was one of them and so uh, we've been praying with her and believing God with her and she saw her ship today turned upright yes mm -hmm. God moved in a mighty way mm -hmm. for her for yes. a car her and Chase by faith they went ahead and ordered their car because now uh, it, you know you you almost have to order a car if you get a new car you have to order it and wait for it to be built before they even That's right. you know, get it. And so by faith, they went ahead and did that. Mm -hmm. And was it, I think, what, took about six weeks mm -hmm. for it to come. And it came in uh, today. And, and God moved. Uh, we watched God use this young girl named Sarah. And again, I, this is another word, another prophetic word mm -hmm. that I want to release. Don't look at who God is using. Mm -hmm. Come on. Don't look at who God is using. God can use whoever he wants to use. And you just stand back and let God use them. That's right. And don't judge them. Just stand back and watch God use them. And he'll do it for you. But Britt and Chase had the Lord move for them today for their car. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that, uh, you know, their car was totaled when Chase had the accident two months ago. But uh, God has moved and we're so thankful for them because they desperately needed a car. But you know what? They, they told God what they wanted. And they stood on the word of God, even though it didn't look like it was going to happen. Yeah. But God came through for them, you know. And I, I just give God all the glory because it wasn't anybody else except God, was Amen. it? And, and the Lord said he was going to give them much favor. And we saw much favor given to them today. Amen. So we want to praise God for that. Pastor that's right. uh, Prophetess Wendy's down there. She says, that's right. We just thank God, you know. And that's another thing, too, that, 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 I, that I want to say to Apostle that so many times we do tell God what we want mm -hmm. and then when God moves for us we don't thank him for yes. it that's right you know we don't give him the glory that's for right. it Only and him. we need to give him the glory for it amen all right amen 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 where am I at have I finished no you okay okay mark uh, 1047 says this and this is talking about uh, blind Bartimaeus that we've all oh, uh, remember yes. uh, you know teaching. Uh, in Sunday school about blind Bartimaeus. Uh, but it says, when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, how mercy on me. And then it goes on to say in verse 49, Jesus stopped and said, call him. In other words, tell him to come here. And so then in verse 51, Jesus asked him a question. He asked blind Bartimaeus, what do you want me I to say, do for you? I say, why would you ask a blind man what you want? But Jesus <laughs> wanted him to That's ask That's right. And, and I love that. He said, what do you want me to do for you? And that's what he's saying to each and every one of us tonight. What do you want me to do for you? We've got to get that across to you. He wanted you know, 
Go ahead. You know, so many times we might think something is too big for God. That's right. A big thing, That's right. you know, it's too big for God. And then again, we might think, well, it's too small for God. I don't want to bother the Lord with that. But I'm going to tell you tonight, whatever it is, big or small or in between, in between mm -hmm. if it uh, concerns us, it concerns God. You know, it concerns the Lord. We can come to the Lord and ask yes. Him anything, and He will move for us. You know, our prophet is. My, Here's something else, too. Since Bar Brian Bartimaeus was a, a beggar, mm -hmm. he was a beggar. Mm -hmm. A beggar can beg for many things. Yeah. As Peter and John met the beggar at the gate, mm -hmm. he was asking for money. He wasn't asking for, he wasn't asking for healing. Did you get that? Yes. He wasn't asking for the supernatural power yes, of God. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes, uh -huh. but, G but the disciples moved for him. Uh -huh. Look on us. Uh -huh. Amen. And Jesus is standing here. He had to know what he wanted. Right. He's 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 not a he could have he could have and he's done. But he 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 didn't just take the word of knowledge and know what he wanted and just go ahead and do it. Right. He wanted him out of his own mouth, out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying something right now. Out of your own mouth, he wants to know what you want. Yes. Amen. And you know, and you know, uh, blind Bartimaeus said, "I want to see." I want to see. I want my eyesight, Lord. Yes. I want to be able to see. And the word says that Jesus healed him. Mm -hmm. Jesus healed him. You know, all he did was ask him what he wanted, and he told him, and God did it. Supernaturally. You know. And so the question that we want to ask you tonight also, what are you blind about? What are you blind about? Mm -hmm. What is it that you need to have changed? Amen. Think about that. Let's think about what we're talking about tonight. Uh, again, maybe it's a location. Maybe you need to move. There's somebody I believe that we're even talking to tonight. You're going to be relocating. You know, you're going to need God to move on your behalf, but you're going to have to have faith. Amen? Brian, uh, bl blind Barnabas, I don't think he would have received anything, Apostle, if he, he had, had have faith. And he had to ask, and then he had to believe. That's right. And he had to ask for what he wanted. Uh -huh. And you know, I love James, what James has to say. James says, you have not because you ask not. That's right. You can't get any plainer than that. You have not because you ask not. Mm -hmm. And again, many times we think things are too big or we think things are too small. Amen. I'm, I'm hearing the Spirit of the Lord also say, God says, he, he wasn't asking him what he was wishing. Mm -hmm. Come on. Exactly. Not When you're just wishing, you don't believe... You, you don't know if it's going to take place. I, I just wish it would happen. Mm -hmm. He's not asking him, what do you wish? Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do supernaturally what for you? you? Do you believe do? that I'm able to do it? Right. Just, what it right. Just, same thing mm -hmm. Peter said. Yes. If that's you, uh -huh. bid me to come. Right. It says, this is you. I'm talking to Jesus. You, and Lord. I can't see you. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you for my mm -hmm. eyesight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And you know, the Lord wants us, to, when we ask him for something, he wants us to believe him and not waver, not waver. Not James waver. Goes, on, on, goes on to say that a double-minded man will not receive anything from the Lord. And I think many times that's the reason we don't get our prayers answered. We'll pray and we'll ask God for something and then we'll let our faith waver. We'll begin to say, well, he didn't answer, so he's probably not going to answer. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we try to figure it out in our mind, but that's not faith. Mm -hmm. Faith, we're supposed to be uh, focused on Jesus. See, if, if, if Peter had stayed focused on Jesus, he would not that's have right. sunk. That's right. He would not that's have right. sunk. He would have walked all the way across the apostle to Jesus. But he, he took his eyes off of the Lord. And so that's another thing that the Lord is speaking to his church about tonight. We need to keep, keep our faith, focus on him and, and continue to press forward to him. Amen? Amen. And as we do that, we're going to build a closer relationship Come with on. him. Come on. And Amen. you know, in a, just like a husband and wife, I, I use myself and my husband's, my husband. You know, we have a very close relationship. And there's not anything that I won't tell my husband. I don't keep secrets from him. Uh, and anything I want, I, I'll ask him for it, or you know, if we can afford it or whatever. Uh, and I know that if he can, he'll do it for me. We have, what I'm saying is we have a relationship. Mm -hmm. and, and God wants us to have that same kind of relationship with him. And if we need something from him, 
and we ask him for it because he loves us. He's going to do, he do it. Yes, yes, he does. Just like we do our own children. We delight in giving them things that they need and they yes. want. Amen. Amen. And, and he's so much more of a heavenly father. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. And, and another thing I do want to say to Apostle, yes. he is our source. He is our source. God is our source. Sometimes we think the pastor is our source or our father, our mother, our father is our source or whatever. But the Lord wants us to know that he is our source and we must come to him and tell him what we want. That's right. Amen. 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 You know, a lot of times there are some times in our Thank lives you, Lord. that uh, we're going to do things a certain way. Uh-huh. And I know this has happened to me many times over the course of life, and it'll happen again. But many times we're going to do things a certain way in our walk with God. But all of a sudden we have that unction of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. on the inside that we're not supposed to go that way. Mm -hmm. You ever had that in the half of the Holy saints? Ghost, yes. That's the Holy Ghost redirecting yes, our path. Jesus. Making us Lord. successful. Amen changing us amen our journey we're going to journey one way and god says no i want to take you this way and you know not only that but we can trust god's timing and things like this right and right. I, that's the word that god gave me sunday but pastor edward was preaching and he was i can trust god's timing right in everything yes that's right and you need to come to a realization in your life tonight as you mm -hmm. walk with God that you can trust his timing about everything in your life. That's Amen. Right. He his timing. Uh -huh. Amen. And many times, I know when I walk with God, and I'm sure you have as well, and will again, we've had to trust God's timing many in times. many things yes. that God has asked us to do. His mm -hmm. timing. His timing. Uh, even in his timing for miracles to take place, mm -hmm. blessings to take place, direction to take place, how to do certain things, where to be at a certain time, all those things we had to trust God for. But yes. you know what? It is such a delight to walk with God that way. It's, it's, it's sort of exciting. It's by faith. It's mm -hmm. by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. So sometimes the way God moves for our miracle will look foolish. Mm-hmm. I said, the way God moves for our, our miracles sometimes will look foolish. It does. Uh -huh. But you know, I'm going to say this to you right now. This is another word. Don't box God in. Don't box God in. The prophetic word. Don't word. box him in mm -hmm. with your reasoning. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. I won't plan to do it this way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if wherever you go, God's going to go with you. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Now, let's get to another uh, 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 story right quick. Is uh, And I talked about, uh, this is one of my... So I guess one of the, my love stories in the Bible. It, it is so unique. It is so God. And I, I think we need to hear what God is saying to us. As we look at 2 Kings uh, chapter 4, verses 2, where we have Elisha, we have the woman who has lost her husband, who's a prophet of mm -hmm. God. Yes. Amen. People are like, well, I, you know, well, I don't want to serve God if bad things are going to happen to me. The Bible says mm -hmm. it rains. On the just and the unjust. Yes. Amen. But here uh, in the Old Testament, we said uh, God spoke to the prophets. Yes. And she did. had the insight. She had the wisdom. She had the knowledge to know where to turn. Uh -huh. It's important. It's imperative that we know where to turn tonight. Yes. Thank and of you, course, Lord. to this day and time, we, we turn, amen, always to Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. And then sometimes God may put people in our lives that we turn to them as well. Yes. And so, <clears throat> here, <clears throat> the Lord is going to use the, uh, the prophet in the Old Testament. She had the knowledge, she had the wisdom to turn to Elisha because she was in a very dire need. Amen. Her son, sons are going to be taken to pay the debt her husband had left behind. Yes. And, you know, I love the way God is doing this because, remember I said, what? Do you want? Uh -huh. What, what do, you want? do you want? That's a, good That's a question mm -hmm. that God has to meet supernaturally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what did Elisha say to her? You know, he he didn't beat around the bush. You know, come back tomorrow. He says, "How can I help you?" Yes, uh -huh. that is someone talking about. I know the supernatural power of God that God 
wants to help you today. That's right, Apostle. God wants right. to help you today. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tell now, me. he begins to get to some specifics. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, tell me what you have in your house. And I, I'm, I'm going to go just a little step further in this. Of course, he was talking about her natural house. Tell me what you have. <clears throat> Isn't that right? That's tell right. Me what you tell have. me what you have. That's tell true. me what you have. Mm -hmm. He don't know. He's asking the question. Mm -hmm. Give God something to work with. Yes. Come on. Yes. He was asking, what do you have in your house? Give me something to work with. Amen. Mm -hmm. God's a supernatural God. And so, what do you have in your house? And she said, and again, here's a classic example in the word of God. Your servant has nothing, nothing in the house except a little bit of oil. All right. You know, God takes little things and magnifies them <laughs> and brings miracles out of them. Yes. God just, might, just delights in using small things. He does. Uh -huh. Oh, he, look at that it's small thing. You know it's got to be God. Uh -huh. That's right. That's the only way it's going to happen. It's got to be God. That's wonderful. Amen. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Her miracle was going to be the oil that was in her house. Right, right. And then the Lord, see the widow, uh, she kept on moving forth. Mm -hmm. And she had asked God for what she wanted through the prophet. Verse 3, it says, verse 3, he gave her some instructions. Yes. You know, sometimes you need to pay detailed attention to what God is instructing you to do. Uh -huh. Since you have an ear to hear what the Spirit yes, is saying. That's what the Spirit says. And then believe that God is able to do it. Amen. Back up his word to mm -hmm. you. He's a miracle worker. That he is. Yes, he is. And Elisha said to her, since you've got a little boy oil in your home. Uh -huh. Now, here's a place you cannot afford to become lazy. Right. Right. See, sometimes God, people want God to do everything without you doing not one thing. Mm -hmm. In this situation, she was going to be have to be a real part of her miracle. That's right. That's Why right. Barnabas had to cry out to God, I want my eyesight. Uh -huh. That's the best that he could do. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he got up and went where the Lord was at. Uh -huh. But here, Elijah said, now, you're going to have to do some leg work. You're going to, do some, you're going to have to knock on some doors. Right. You're going to go around the city to about five or six hundred houses. That's right. That's right. Not two mm -hmm. or three. Mm -hmm. Five or six hundred. Five or six. Because <coughs> God's got a big miracle for you. Mm -hmm. Come on. God mm -hmm. has, your miracle is going to depend on the amount of jars that you're going to collect. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your miracle. Mm -hmm. Don't Did you get that? Yeah, yeah. He, well, no, I, 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 I've got this shade in the back tree, and it's too hot to go out today, so I'm going to go back there and okay. drink me some water. I'm going to wait for a better day. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He won't, he won't say to wait for a better day. He said, this is the day. This is the day that this the Lord has made. Yeah. This is the day that I'm speaking to you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can miss our miracle because we won't move upon the timing of God. All right, all right. That's a good word. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's going to look ridiculous to everybody else. That's all right. She got a, she got a true word from God. Mm -hmm. Are you she got a true word a from true God. Word. If you get a true word from God, I don't care how crazy it looks. It don't make any difference to anybody. It only makes a difference to you and God. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. And so, he said, go around. I love that. Go around. Go, go around all these five or six houses, all these neighbors. You know, we've got probably... Oh, I may be a hundred houses in our neighborhood. And God's telling us to go around to all of our neighbors and knock on their door. Well, I'm just too embarrassed to do that, God. You know, you, 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 you can't walk with God that way. If you're ashamed of God, he said, I'd be ashamed of you. Yeah, and if right. you're ashamed of what God tells you to do, uh -huh. did you get that? Right. If you are ashamed, no, you're not begging. You're obeying God. That's that's it. Oh, see, ladies and gentlemen, no, that's begging. And God said, "I'm not supposed to beg." He didn't say you were begging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's right. He said, "Get out there, put your hat on." Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, somebody, go fix yourself up. Go to the door and give them a smile and say, "Do you have some empty jars I can borrow?" No, he said, "But don't borrow just a few mm -hmm. either." That's right. Borrow. Uh -huh. Can. And you got two sons that go with you. They they, they got boxes and <laughs> got got maybe maybe, maybe they got can. a wagon. Didn't uh -huh. say they had, it, but maybe they got a wagon. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Hey. Thank I have you, a very big imagination. 
And oh so ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Yes. Uh -huh. And don't ask just for a few. Uh huh. Come on. That's true. Don't ask for just a few. Mm -hmm. Don't be lazy here. Yep. Th this is not a small thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, something, something, something. Are you listening? Afterwards, afterwards. There's an afterwards here. Something had to be done with the oil. Right. Mm -hmm. It had to be poured into all these empty jars. Mm -hmm. Did you get this? Yes, amen. Amen. And the oil had value. Mm -hmm. Come on. Go, the oil, the oil had value. Mm -hmm. It may have been a little bit, but it had great value in her home. Mm -hmm. That's right. And God was given direction here because God saw mm -hmm. the oil as being valuable. Mm -hmm. God saw the oil as something that he was going to use to bless her with. Right, right. Thank you, Lord. Yes, and the widow, she never realized what she had until she started pouring. Oh, come on now. Are okay. you listening right now? She never realized what she had until she started oh, pouring. Oh, when faith started operating again. Yes, huh? yes, mm -hmm. yes. She put her faith in action. That's, That's right. That's the thing. You know, we have to put our faith in action. So, you know, I just want to say to many of you, it's time for you to start pouring. It's, it's time for you to start pouring. It's time for you to start believing God. It's time for you to put your faith in action. Put your faith in action. Right, Apostle? That's right. Hallelujah. So, so, the, so the widow had to trust God's timing to pour out the oil. That's right. You know, I heard one brother say, you know, if, if you know, she, she was going to pour oil, as long, there was going to be oil as long as there was uh, uh, utensils to pour it in. Empty jars. You know, empty jars. She would just keep pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a prophetic word that I want to give you tonight, too, and the Lord spoke this to us today. It says, uh, don't wear yourself out casting your pearls before the swine. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't wear yourself out casting your pearls before the swine. The Lord is saying, use discernment. And there's some people that you're never going to be able to help. That's right. There are just some people that you're never going to be able to help. And the Lord is saying, don't waste your anointing. They don't value, they don't appreciate the word of God. Come on, somebody. They don't value, they don't appreciate the word of God that comes out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. You just quit wasting your time with them. Well, they don't appreciate the oil in your life. That's right. The oil in your the life. The Holy Ghost yes, in your life. Yes, they don't Amen. appreciate that. They don't even understand it. A lot of people don't. So, uh, so something very valuable to you. That's your anointed is something very. Come we're talking on. about the oil. Yes. We're talking about the oil in the natural, and we're talking about the oil and in the, the spiritual. spiritual. But your anointing is very valuable to you. So the Lord is saying, don't waste your anointing. Don't be casting your pearls before the swine. That's right. And, and, and you, have to have a, you have to have discernment to know that, Apostle. That's because right. Because we can spend all of our time on one person. And energy. Yes. Uh, we have to know the difference. Amen? That's right. We have to know the difference. Hallelujah. Because everybody's not going to appreciate the oil on your life. They're not going to do that. Okay. So Peter valued the word of God. What? Peter valued the word of God. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. The widow woman valued uh, Elisha's word. Elisha's the word. The word the Come prophet gave her. Let's get it. You know, she valued that word. Uh, they, Peter and the widow woman together, uh, were about to see the hand of God in a new way, but it was by faith. That's right. Somebody better be listening to me tonight. It was by faith. And also, uh, uh, blind Bartimaeus knew what he wanted uh, the Lord to give him. It was his sight to see but he had to have faith to receive it. Again, what do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you want? God is saying to you tonight, saints, to each one of us, what do you want me to do for you? That's what God is saying. Not what I can do for you or not what an apostle can do for you, but the Lord is saying, what can I do for you? Amen. But you have to value the word that is preached. That's right. You have to value the one who carries the mm -hmm. unction of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. You have right. to value Elisha that took the time 
to speak to you numerous times how to be successful. That's true. That's so you true. You have to uh -huh. value the word of Jesus to tell you how you can walk on the water. Uh -huh. You you have even though you're blind, you have to be like Barnabas. You have to value the word of God that can tell you to come. And the oil in their lives. And the oil in their lives. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, I, and I, I, want, I want to be pleasing to God. Right. I, I said, I want to be pleasing to God. And I won't waste my time on people who do not value the word of God in our lives. Yeah, that's true. Are you listening to uh -huh. me? Thank you, Lord. All right. Amen. I know you said, well, I don't know about that. Well, that's all right. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Well, Thank you know, you that's Jesus. the Holy Ghost speaking to us, mm -hmm. not to cast. The, well, that's the word too, Apostle. Mm -hmm. The word tells us not to cast our pearls before the swine. Amen. That's what it says. Yes. Because people don't value your word. People use you up. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right, Prophet mm -hmm. uh, uh, Renee, because that's what God told me. Uh, years ago, he reiterated, he spoke that again to me. Uh, I was questioning him about some things. Uh-huh. And he again spoke to me. He says, you are my messenger. Messenger, yes, that's what he and said. And so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to release the word of God. And if you don't value it, I'm going to keep on walking down the road. <laughs> I'm going to turn around that's and come right. back. Uh -huh. I'm not going to try to convince you of nothing. If you don't have faith to believe what God is saying, well, that's all right, too. Mm -hmm. Because you will suffer the consequences of, not, of turning away the one that God sent to you. That's true. Amen. That's true. Or if you even keep resisting the word of God that God speaks to you personally mm -hmm. by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, that was what we were talking about earlier when we were talking about how God, uh, you know, moved for Pastor Britt and Chase, you know, and then the Lord gave a prophetic word to not look at who he uses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not look don't at look who, who he uses. You, you know, and, 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 and now I'm not talking about the messenger. I'm talking about when you pray and you tell God what you want, then God can use people. Whomever you know, God yeah, chooses. You know, he uses people. And sometimes these people can look real strange and act real strange. Mm -hmm. Apostle and I have had people real strange to answer uh, prayers that we have prayed mm -hmm. and asked God. But that's that divine connection. Yeah, to but God. you can't look at how it looks in no. the natural. Mm -mm. You have to know that it's God using them. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes they don't even want to be used of God. We've seen that too, well, Apostle. Are, it's just favor God gives you. Yes. Favor God gives yes, you. Yes, but don't look at the way people look and, and try to figure it out. causes them to want to help you. Yeah. Come on. God just causes them to want to help you. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of them. Now, not all of them. Yeah, well, I know. I know <laughs> I'm going to find the ones that want to. Amen. Thank you. I know Lord. you are, but you Amen. sort of got off the track from what I was saying. All right. I know. But okay. Right. Brittany right. goes, yes. <laughs> you know, don't you, Pastor Britt? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Now. God is good. And I'm going to say this because. This is what God gave me. So I, since I'm God's messenger, uh, you know, there, there, and here's, what, here's how God said, there is a storm. Mm -hmm. There is a storm against your finances. Mm -hmm. There's a storm against your finances. But you have no faith and confidence to give back to God. Yes, you did. That's what Brit. God said. Brit said, I had a great example today. <laughs> yes, you did. You Thank give you, God Lord. all the glory, honey. Thank I know you. you are. Amen. Yes. And so we need to let the word of God become alive in us. Yes. Come that's on. Right. Become alive in uh -huh. us. That 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 what what we believe in the word of God, that we can take that word and pour it out of us. Mm -hmm. Come on, you pour it out. Is that right? That's pour right. It pour it out. Pour it out. Pour it out. What's pour in out. you? Pour it out. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you have no 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 desire, if you have no faith to give to God, are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Then what do you expect God to give you back? See, the widow woman had to do something That's right. for her miracle. That's true. Amen. Mm -hmm. We were talking to a couple uh, here a while back, and they've been through some hard times in their lives. Yes. But there's an amazing supernatural thing that happened that at that time, we were not even aware of. That's right. As we were sitting there, counseling with them, talking with them, having a good time and so forth. You know, and sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes, you know, the prophets would say, uh, the Lord didn't reveal that to me. Or God didn't show that to me. And so, we, you know, for quite a while, we were talking and laughing and, 
<clears throat> and just having a wonderful time and sharing the word of God and rejoicing. But this is this couple sitting about 20 feet away over in the corner, did not know they were listening and so forth. And, uh, but when they got out to leave, they paid their bill, got, and they looked over at our table and they, they said, that man and woman is telling you the truth. And let me tell you something. They said, if you want your way out of this mess, you need to start giving to God. <laughs> we ain't said a thing about time. No, we we ain't said a thing about finances. It was funny. But here's a man. They said, we have found out that God will outgive us every time we give to God. Yes. And so they picked up on something in the spirit that they just had their release, and we never spoke a word to them and they, before or afterwards. And they went on to say, our pastor preaches the same things you guys have been preaching. <laughs> and so they heard every word we would say, and you never know who is going to Isn't hear that amazing? But what it, it, you're saying. So It was funny. It, it was gone. It was. It was. It was. It, it was done in such a unique way. Mm -hmm. Wow, God. You know, <laughs> I know you've been talking to my heart. Mm -hmm. I know that you've been saying to me, and you've been merciful to me and all these things. But now God's taking it to a different and, level. And, well, fact, that he brings absolutely strangers by. Yeah, they were confirming what we were saying. Yes, actually, it's actually, what they were doing. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. God is something. Now, I, I want to say this. Uh, as we, uh, what you want, keep moving forward. And as I said, can the word of God become alive? In you? Is the word of God alive in mm -hmm, you today? Mm -hmm. Come on. Is the word of God alive in you? Yes, uh, amen. Because you, if it is, you'll pour out what's in mm -hmm. you. Amen. Mm, that's good. And listen, the widow woman, here, here's, here's where I'm going. The widow woman, she's got all these empty jars. She's in her house. Mm -hmm. But you know, she still has to exercise faith. Yes, yes. Hello. Uh -huh. She still has to exercise, exercise faith. faith. God says, uh -huh. you're going to still have to exercise faith. It took faith. To pour oil, she had a little bit of oil. She didn't say she had a barrel of oil. She had five gallons. Mm -hmm. She had a gallon. I've got just a little bit in the bottle. A tiny little bit. A tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe that much. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Really now, you know, are you trying to tell me that I'm going to take that little bit of oil in the bottom of that one little bottle you got and it's going to fill up all these bottles you got in this house? Uh -huh, all these jars. Mm -hmm. That's, but it, it's going to take faith. Mm -hmm. It's going to take you starting at bottle number one or jar number one. And listen, as you pour, it's going to multiply. <laughs> and I don't, think it's, I don't think it was really talking about the, the, the jar or the bottle she had or the jar. It's going to fill up. I think it's just going to stay the same mm -hmm. and going to keep pouring mm -hmm. and pouring. Mm -hmm. See, God's just showing Hey, I'm God to take that little bit and keep multiplying that little bit, that little bit, that little bit. I, I'm saying something to somebody. That little bit that you give to God, that little bit that you're faithful to, that little bit. If you keep pouring it in and pouring it in and pouring it in and pouring it in, it's going to amount to something. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So she took, it took faith. You know, I, I created this, 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 uh, this don't look possible. <laughs> See, this don't look possible. Mm -hmm. I've got this, and I got all this whole house full of, of empty jars. Mm -hmm. That don't, you know what she got? Mm -hmm. She's got to quit talking herself out of that miracle, and she's got to do this. She's got to turn Start it up. Pouring. She's got to turn it up for leaving God. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep on pouring, and keep on pouring, and keep on pouring. And whoa, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's, where, where's another jar? There ain't any more. And the Bible said, and the oil stopped. Yes. yes. God, God continued to honor their faith mm -hmm. as they poured. Mm -hmm. As they poured, filled all of those jars. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Now, see, God took the natural and turned it into the supernatural and to that which is impossible to bless her household. Yes. Now take this oil, load it up, load it up, load it up, take it down to wherever you settle that, sell it, pay your debts, and live off of the rest of it. Right. Now that won't no small amount because mm -hmm. this woman had a household to sustain. She had two sons. And so 
It's just amazing what God can do if we obey Him. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. If we obey right. His Word, if we believe His Word, we will see God perform His Word for us. Yes. Did you get that? Yes. If we, see, if we believe His Word, if we see His Word, if we obey His Word, we will see God perform His Word to yes, us. It's That's true. a key word right there. That's a prophetic word. Do you want God to perform his word for you? Amen. Mm -hmm. And out of obedience. Mm -hmm. Get that. Out of Thank you, Lord. So, so it's what we do in those difficult seasons that's so important to keep moving oh, forward. Oh, aren't these difficult seasons we've been mm -hmm. talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moving forward. Uh -huh. Moving forward in our journey. Yes. We are on a journey, Apostle. Yes, we are. We never know how extreme things can become until he has our attention. Mm. You know, God does allow things to happen to get our attention. Yes, he does. To get our attention. We were talking to For our... a turn. Yes, we were talking to our grandson today, Chase, and he began to tell us that in that accident that he had where he almost got killed, he said God got his attention. Mm -hmm. Didn't he? That's what he said. He said God got his attention. And he, I'm telling you, he God let him will, know what was important. Yes, that's exactly what he said. Mm -hmm. He said that he be, he became aware of what is important mm -hmm. in his life. Yes, you know his wife, and, and he talked about the Lord too, and and his family, and and doing what's right. And you know, we serve an awesome God, and He knows exactly what we need, exactly what we need. And and, and again, all we all we need to do is tell God what we want. Tell God what we want. Yes. And the Lord wants to shine out of our lives, right, out. you know, through our circumstances, Apostle. You had something you were going to say? No, no, go ahead. Okay. And so as we uh, get ready to close tonight, uh, if you have a prayer request or a praise report, we want you to go ahead and put it in the comment section. And, you know, as we, as we continue to press forward, as we continue to move forward, I believe, and Apostle believes, that we're going to see great surprises along the way. Great surprises. Great surprises along How the way. How he may want to do it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. God is saying, I can Who and I will. he may want to use. Yes, and he's saying, I can and I will. His timing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. His timing. Thank you. I keep his hearing that word. Timing. His timing. Yes, his timing. Yes. His timing. You know, God, Barnabas was in God's timing to heal him. Mm -hmm. The widow woman was in God's timing to bless her household. Yes. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Peter, Lord. Peter, it was God's timing mm -hmm. that he could walk on the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not just any time, but it, there was that Kairos time, that key time mm -hmm. that God wanted to show himself strong mm -hmm. in behalf of him. Mm -hmm. And God wants to show himself strong in behalf of a lot of you tonight. If you would take him at his word, that he can perform the supernatural over your life, what do you want? This is not some little fifthly wish for thinking. This is a relational walk with God. Amen. Realizing that it takes the supernatural power of God. That's right. That's right. To make it happen. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Prophet Wendy says, I want to thank the Lord for moving for Brittany and Chase Amen. today. Amen. Thank you, Yes, Lord. we do, and we give God the glory. Mm -hmm. right. We give God the glory, don't we? We really do. We were praying, and we saw God move by His Spirit in a situation that looked impossible, really. Mm -hmm. And also, we see Millie uh, watching tonight. God bless you, Millie. We love you. And we want to say again, if you have a prayer request, you need to go ahead and put it in the comment section or a praise report uh, and I we have um, a couple of uh, uh, <coughs> prayer requests tonight Apostle and we want to go ahead and um, go ahead. Uh, you know just uh, ask everyone to join with us and pray Prophetess Marcy um, sent me a message today and uh, she has talked to her son or heard from her son who she hasn't heard from in three years now remember we've been prophesying that God is going to restore relationships. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, and we just talked about God getting our attention, a lot of times God has to get our attention before mm -hmm. he can bring restoration. Okay? Wow. Most of the time he does. He gets our attention. And uh, she just found out just a few days ago that her son's wife has passed away. 
And so we want to pray for him. We want to pray for her son and her grandson. They have a child. And we want to pray for them. And we want to also pray that God restores their relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, God brings, re, you know, restoration through this because this is, it's, it's a sad thing when, when a young man, this is a young man that lost his wife. But the thing and, you have to realize, your prophet is, go ahead. And, and, and they have a young son now that's going to grow up without his mother. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a young son, a young child. And, and so we do want to pray for them and for God to bring restoration in that family where Prophetess Marcy, as a grandmother, can be there to help her son and her grandchild. Now, what were you going to say, Pastor? I, I said we have to be, today, there's no fear of people thinking they can say anything they want to against a man and woman of God, and it's all right. It's not all right. No, it's not. It is not all right. I'm telling you, God is going to get people's attention and let you realize that's my anointed one. Yes. They may not look like much. They may not. You, listen, are you listening to me? But God says, you will find out where my anointing is at, mm -hmm. who my power of God is upon. I will get your attention, whatever it may take. And so we, we need to be careful that we think we can say anything we want to against a man, God's anointed. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible and tells us that. We can walk away mm -hmm. from that, mm -hmm. and there's no consequences. Yeah. Well, the Bible says, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no, no harm. harm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he said that more than one time in the Word of God, so we do need to be careful about what we say. Because we will reap what we sow. Yes. I mean, we talked about that a couple of weeks yes, ago. Yes, you will reap what you sow. But start. Father, we just, uh, do you want to pray for this? No, study? go ahead. Okay. Right. Father, we just bring uh, our prophet Marcy's son and her grandson, Lord. Father, we bring them before the throne tonight, Lord. God, we, we just ask you, Lord, to touch them, Father God, Lord. Uh, have love and compassion that only you can have on yes, them at this Jesus. time, Father God. Yes, Lord, Lord, as they mourn the loss of uh, their you, wife Jesus. and their mother, Glory Father God. God. You, Lord, we just ask you to move by your spirit, Thank Lord, you, in this situation, God, and that you will bring restoration, yes, bring to, uh, restoration to this family, God. Father God. We, we, we you, speak Jesus. restoration over this family, Father. Lord, that's what you're all about, Lord Jesus. You came to bring restoration in all Thank of our you, lives, Jesus. Father God. And, lo and Lord, we were all lost and undone without you, yes. Father, and you moved on our behalf. Thank so, you, God, Lord. we ask you to, uh, to to do that with this son and this grandson, Father, in, in, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen Thank and you, amen. Jesus. Also, I have another prayer request. Uh, Deborah, uh, who lost her mother, and um, she's having a really hard time with it, and she's asking for prayer. Uh, she said, I just, all I can do is cry. And uh, and I just really need prayer for God to comfort me during this time. And so, Father, Lord, we just come before you right now, God, and we just bring Deborah before you, Lord. Father, you know uh, how she feels, Father God, Lord, uh, because you know we know how uh, it is when we lose a loved one, Lord, and we ask you to comfort her heart and fill that void, Father, that, that only you could do, Lord, yes. in the name of Jesus, God. Thank you, we just, Jesus. Ask you, Father God, to yes. continue to move in Deborah's life <laughs> yes. and, and comfort her at this time, yes, Father. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' Change precious the morning name. And the joy. Yes, Thank Lord. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the morning Jesus' the joy. name. In Jesus' yes. name. The joy in Jesus' name. Of the Lord is my Hallelujah. 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 Exchange. Thank you, Father. Those disappointments yes. and the joy. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. Believe that He can Hallelujah. change your uh, dilemma. Hallelujah. You know, Prophet, again, I, I, God says, I'm going to upright some ships. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change some things that has, has for a while has not been changed. Mm -hmm. But I'm uprighting again the ships mm -hmm. in people's lives. Right. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, amen. Believe God that he's turning some things around in your life. He's uprighting your ship. He's causing your ship to sail in the right direction. Amen. Selling out of that storm. You know, when Peter walked on the water and he's about to sink and Jesus brought him in the boat, they sailed out of that storm. You're getting ready to sail out of that storm through the waters, through the fire. You're coming to the other side. 
Amen. By faith as you walk with God. Yes. Thank you, yes. Lord. All right. Uh, Renee has a praise report. She said, they said it would take five to eight days for my car part to come in. Well, it came in in about two days. Now I have my car back. Thank you, Jesus. Also, he lowered a blood pressure on one of my patients I was caring for. I saw him using people to help me. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Father. That seat. <laughs> just just start looking around and watch what God can do. Yes, yes. And then Amen. give him the praise for it. Yes, give him the Hallelujah. praise for it. Just look That's around right. what God can do. Thank you. He's Lord. going to use people. Mm -hmm. He's going most of the time. He's Hallelujah. going to use people Hallelujah. around you. Mm -hmm. People that you meet. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And they may not even understand. Yeah. But that's all right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's all right. That's right. Just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, thank we, you, Father. Uh, just sitting eating the other day, prophets, and this young man came up and, and he said, I know you guys. I used to wait on you. Uh huh. And that's been two or three years ago. Yeah, well, before COVID. <laughs> yes. He said, I, I remember you guys. Are uh you -huh. listening to me? I remember you guys. Uh -huh. And we just had a wonderful conversation with them. And me and, me and my wife, we, we, we're having our first baby. Yeah. He was so excited. Uh -huh. People want to share their joy with you. Mm -hmm. They're excited with you. And we just told them, well, that, that is just great, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we just need some time to meet people just exactly where they're and at. And he went on to tell us that everything that they needed for the baby they have, they've been, yes. give, been given to them. Yes. And he was just so excited. You yes. Know? It was just, it's good to be able to get out and talk to people, isn't it? Amen. And just encourage one another and be kind to one another yes. you know there's just such a, a, a you know the, there's been so much hatred and and all this stuff that's gone on and you know uh and you know it's it's wonderful to begin to see people showing kindness to one another yeah, amen and I, I wonder you know how many other people he he didn't share that with it. us mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. I, that's what i tell you guys mm -hmm. We're going to have our first baby. Yes. He was excited. He was. And so, you know, we want to be excited with people like that. Yes, because, we do. You know, I, I think we can lead them to the Lord. Uh -huh. We can speak into their lives. Uh -huh. But if you're not happy about them having a child, you know, my gosh, you know, what would it take? That's right. <laughs> what would it take? Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's a very special time in their lives. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. And so uh, I, 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 I believe, I believe that God is going to uh, bring that young man to the house of God. Mm -hmm. I do believe that. His name is Eric. Eric, amen. Let's just pray for Eric Thank right you. now. Father, we just bring Eric yes, before you yes. right now, Lord, and his wife, Lord Jesus. God, we just decree, God, that you're going to bring them in, Lord. Father, I believe that you're stirring their heart. Yes, Lord. You're drawing them Come by on. your spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Mm. And Father, we believe, we're going to decree right now that Eric's going to be a part of Soren Eagle Ministries International, Father. We claim him for our church, Father God, in Jesus' name. But most of all, we claim him for the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes, yes. Well, if no one else has a prayer request or a praise report, Apostle, I guess we'll go. Um, there's Sharon. God bless you, Sharon. We love you. Uh, and and we, we do want to say happy Mother's Day, uh, you know, to everyone. We know that yes. Sunday is Mother's Day, and we just want to say if you're a mother, uh, we just pray that you have a wonderful day, that God blesses you, whether, uh, you know, you have a whole house full of children or just one child or whether you're a single mom or whatever it is. Uh, if you're a mother, we want to just say happy Mother's Day, and may God bless you and just enjoy that day, and if you are a child or, a, or a, a, a son or a daughter, you know, you make sure that you call your mom and tell her you love her. Mm -hmm. If she lives closer by, uh, you go see her, take her some flowers, uh, uh, some candy, take her out to eat. Do something special mm -hmm. uh, uh, for, uh, for your mother. You her know, day. I was just so sad the last few days, you know, we heard uh, of the death of... Uh, what was her name? Judd. Naomi Judd. And and those two daughters are left without a mom. You know, they'll never see their mother again, Apostle. On this side, yeah. You know, they never will until they go home to be with the Lord if, if she made it in or if they make it in. But the thing of it, what I want to say is if you have a mother, you know, you, you need to love her and show her mm -hmm. uh, that you do care for her. It don't mean that she has to be uh, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
You know, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible tells us honor. to honor our parents. You know, that means it every say, day too. Yeah, it don't Actually. say if they're perfect. It says to honor them, that your days may be longer upon the earth. So, you know, we need to take this time right now to just love our families, love upon our mom, let her know that you love her and care for her. Yeah. And actually, you don't have to wait the Mother's Day no, to do something special No, you don't. You her. don't. But this Amen. is a day that the world set aside right. to honor her. And I expect something from my children on Mother's Amen. Day. <laughs> I do. My, my family always, you know, makes a big day for me. And uh, I would be sad, though, if I if my children didn't care for me. Honey, you're tired. It's been oh, a long day, a long hasn't day. it? Where we're going to go, uh, Melissa and me will be on tomorrow at 11 o'clock, so we're asking you to join us. Uh, I don't know what Melissa has in store for us yet, but I know that it's gonna be good. And then on Sunday, Mother's Day, I think you're going to be ministering Mother's Day. I know Day. I'll be ministering, amen. And um, Brother David said, have, have a good Mother's Day prophecy. I will, Brother David. There's one of my spiritual sons. Love you, brother. And all of you take care, and God bless you, and then we will see you all soon. God bless amen. you. God bless.